Google just released its latest AI model called Gemini Pro within its Bard AI chatbot. We're going to compare it to the widely available ChatGPT 3.5 and the paid multi-model version of ChatGPT version 4. We designed a series of questions to test different aspects of each model, from math to creative writing, and even large-scale conflict resolution. We started off with a math question that divided the internet in 2019. We asked them to answer the following question and explain the steps they took. Depending on how people implement the order of operations, they might come up with completely different answers, mostly one or 16. Now, 16 is the correct answer if you are using the most common version of the order of operations, but if you were doing this equation about 100 years ago, you would get one. ChatGPT 3.5's answer came really quickly and its steps were detailed. Unfortunately, its answer of one was wrong. Now, ChatGPT 4 took longer to answer the question, gave slightly fewer details on how it solved the problem, but it did come up with the correct answer of 16. Google's Gemini Pro did something really unexpected. It first gave the wrong answer of four, and it did so with fewer steps, and that probably contributed to the incorrect answer. But then I noticed an option to view other draft responses. And in draft two, it not only came up with the right answer, but it also explained how the equation could be interpreted in two different ways to give two different answers, one and 16. This was probably the most well thought out response, but given that it was not the first answer, and also that draft three was entirely wrong with a completely different answer altogether, I can't really give Gemini the point on this one. Next, to test each bot's creativity, we asked them to finish a story by writing no more than 300 words and beginning with, when the princess opened the door, she saw. Now, all three used kind dragons as their main second character and led the princess through this journey of exploration and adventure, but none of them stuck to the 300 word limit. After anonymizing the results, I shared the stories with my teammates and we all agreed that none of them were particularly great. Now, ChatGPT4's was probably the best using really descriptive language and cool narrative, followed by GPT 3.5 and we all agreed that Google Gemini's story was probably the worst of all. Next, we wanted to see how they might work out some historical data along with cultural qualifiers. So we asked all three what Chinese zodiac sign George Washington was born under. Both of the ChatGPT models gave them answer as monkey, with 3.5 letting me know that the Chinese zodiac is based on a lunar calendar and that can change slightly from year to year. Gemini told me George Washington was born just four days into the year of the rat, which was corroborated by my Chinese co-workers. And one of them also added that the lunar calendar used when George Washington was born way back in 1732 might be a little different than the one used now. So monkey may have also been correct as well. It's a tough one, but we're giving the point to Gemini here. To see how the models would deal with conflict resolution skills, we threw a conflict at them that is troubling the world today and asked how they would solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Well, all three at first gave really general scenarios at describing different possible solutions, like a one-state solution, two-state solution, or land swaps, etc. But after some prodding and poking, trying to get them to actually give a solution, we only got one direct answer, and that was from Gemini, who stated, I believe the two-state solution, coupled with strong regional cooperation, offers the best path towards lasting peace in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Next, we gave them the power to rule Earth and requested them to detail the steps they would take to reverse the effects of human-made climate change in just three bullet points. Again, I took the results, gave them to my teammates, and we all agreed that ChatGPT's four answer was the most comprehensive and well-written followed by Gemini's and then ChatGPT3's. Lastly, we wanted to see some introspection from the models. So we asked them what would be the best and worst case outcomes from the evolution and popularizations of AI. The results here were a little surprising. ChatGPT 3.5 gave a little better and more nuanced explanation, in my opinion, of the possible best and worst case outcomes of the situation, followed by Gemini and 
probably I would put ChatGPT 4s in last place in this case. Right now, Google's Gemini Pro is only in English, but it's free to use for anyone with a Google account through its Bard chatbot. Google did tease some information that it might be releasing a Gemini Ultra sometime in 2024, so we'll be keeping an eye out for that. If you'd like to read all of the results yourself, including those amazing stories, click on the link in the description below, and that'll take us to our website, CGT in America, where you can see all of the tests we conducted with these three chatbots. What questions do you have? Would you like us to test any other? Oh. What do you want us to test, Bella? You want to test lunch? Is it lunchtime? What questions would you like us to test out in the future? Let us know in the comments, and until then. What questions should we test out next? Do you have any ideas? Or is it just lunchtime? Lunchies?